Good morning, everyone. Uh, this week in week three, we're going to be learning about for loops and arrays. And I wanted to talk to you about the uh, programming structure that's a for loop. Uh, the best way to do that is I'm on the Arduino website, and if I come down here to resources, you can go to reference. Anytime you're uh, struggling with something in Arduino, it's a good idea to check out the reference material for that. So you can see some things you'll recognize here, like digital read, digital write. Um, those are uh, functions. And if you keep scrolling down, you can see variables. And then finally, structure. And in structure, you'll see the for loop control structure. And this gives you a description of how it works. So essentially what happens, we're going to look at the syntax right here. When you write a for loop, there are some conditions that start it, and then there are these curly brackets. You can think of a for loop as sort of being a repeat function that repeats a set number of times based on the logic that you input into the, the initialization. So anything that's between the curly brackets here and here is going to repeat a set number of times. That set number of times is based on the condition. So uh, oftentimes, like here's some example code, we can see what they're doing <clears throat> is they've defined a for loop. In that for loop, they define what I call a counter, or they're calling the initialization. And the counter is just a variable. So here they've defined i as a variable. You can see it's a type integer. And they set it equal to 0. The next element says, how, long, how many times should I repeat this? Well, we should repeat this as long as i is less than or equal to 255. Okay? And then lastly, we talk about the increment. Each time we go through the loop, how much does i change by? And here we use the, the shorthand i++, which just says add 1 to i. So what this loop is going to do is it's going to start with i at 0. It's going to go until i is equal to 255, increasing i by 1 every time. And each time through, it's going to do this loop where it does an analog write to a pin with the value of i. And what this is doing is it uh, dims and brightens a um, uh, LED. So it slowly increases the value of the output from 0 to 255. Okay. Um, so this could be handy this week. Uh, one of the things that you should note is see how they're using the variable i in their code. So this week you're supposed to uh, have your last name display using binary. And I would suggest that you create an array that contains the zeros and ones for each letter. And then you could write a for loop that goes through that array and turns on all of the lights uh, from 0 to 8 or 1 to 8 um, that correspond to that letter and you can step through your array by using the i value there. Hope that helps. Uh, good luck. Hit me up with uh, any questions you have.